All right, the weekend is here, and that means that it's time for our weekend movie watch list. Joining us this morning to talk about the biggest releases coming to theaters and streaming platforms is, of course, film cr critic Tom Sid Tilly. Hey, Tom, so good to see you again. Oh, it's great to be here, man. When I'm here, it means it's the weekend, so that's all. That's always good, right? That's right. Right. What better time frame <laughs> to be a guest than on a, on a Friday? And um, and <laughs> right. we're talking about a lot this weekend. Now, first off, big news, uh, movie news coming this week was the Academy Award nominations last Tuesday. But before we get to all those and your your opinions on yeah. those, are there any new films opening up this weekend that you think are worth checking out? Yeah, you know, there is a selection of new films uh, out this weekend, but uh, two films that I wanted to highlight. One is a comedy on Netflix. It's called You People. It stars Jonah Hill, Eddie Murphy, uh, Julia Louise Dreyfus, David Duchovny. Um, I found this movie to be really funny. It, it, it's kind of an uncomfortable kind of humor, uh, and it might not be for everybody, but that's on Netflix. If it sounds interesting to you, check it out. Uh, and then also in theaters this week, in limited release, is a film called Living. Uh, this movie just got nominated uh, by the Oscars for two awards, one for Bill Nye for Best Actor. It's so well-deserved. He gives the performance of his lifetime in this film, and uh, it's just a very good, uh, heartfelt drama uh, that people can check out this weekend. Did I hear Bill Nye? Is that the right... Is that the right... Did I hear that name correctly? <laughs> That's uh, correct. Yeah, all right. Really cool. Got to check that out. All right, so we, there's a lot I'm sure you want to get to about the Academy Award nominations. Um, some of the biggest surprises that you heard, maybe some snubs. What, what do you think? What was your takeaway? Yeah, you know, well, no surprise at all was that the fact that uh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once uh, gained the most Oscar nominations. It had 11 in total. Best Picture, Best Director, Michelle Yeoh for Best Actress, uh, Ki Hoi Kwan for Best Supporting Actor, and then they had uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Stephanie Hsu for Best Supporting Actress. So they kind of, uh, you know, performed up to snuff. What it was a surprise was uh, the German film. It's called All Quiet on the Western Front. It's a Netflix film. You can find it. Uh, it's a technically astounding movie. Uh, but it was up for nine uh, Academy Awards, including not only Best International Feature, but also Best Picture. Uh, then you have the big controversy a uh, little bit, and the, big, the biggest surprise of all, the inclusion in Best Actress of the actress Andrea Riseborough for a film called Two Leslie, which almost nobody had heard of. There was a last-minute grassroots campaign by other actors that got her the nomination. Uh, so it's really uh, stunning, and it's really never been done before. That being said, her inclusion uh, led to the snubs of both Viola Davis and Danielle Deadweiler uh, for Till, which I thought was the best performance of the year. So there's a little bit of controversy going on in that category. It, on a positive note, uh, to end some of the, you know, there's a lot of, of course, records and stuff that get set. But how about this? John Williams, composer John Williams, uh, his 53rd Academy Award nomination. Oh, my God. Uh, this is... Yeah, for, he, this is for the Fablemans, uh, for best score. Only Walt Disney has more nominations than John Williams. He had, he had 59, and he had them across all these different categories. John Williams is just a composer. 53 nominations. Unbelievable. He's going to need uh, yeah, a few more shelves, I think, to, to house all those. My director got in my ears like, hey, uh, it's not Bill Nye the science guy, dummy. Bill Nye, he's so, you know. I, I grew up with the science guy, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, not the science guy. I don't know what he did this weekend, but he's in a movie. <laughs> he's got Netflix stuff out there. Yeah, uh, there you go. Movieshowplus.com. Check it out for uh, Tom's movie reviews, and uh, you've also got some, some giveaways there that people need to check out. So, Tom Santilli, we appreciate you every single Friday being here with us and uh, giving us your insights. So, again, Movieshowplus.com. Go there to check it out. Have a great weekend, Tom. We'll see you back here next week. Hey, I appreciate that. Also, really, really quickly, uh, everybody, February 19th, I'm doing an Oscar preview uh, special at the Maple Theater, and I'm also hosting the Oscar Gala on March 12th. Check it out. Tickets are on sale at themapletheater.com. Awesome. Had the information up there. Thanks, Tom. We'll be right back.